Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to grow bare root strawberries, hopefully in under 10 minutes. Let's go. All right, guys, I saw this bag of strawberries for $10 with 30 bare roots. It's the Carolina White Carolina Strawberry. Ooh, that looks delicious. And the Red Eversweet. So I open up the bag and this is what it looks like. It already have live bare roots inside the bag. So the first step we want to do is remove that rubber band. Second step we want to do is gently pull the bare roots apart and make sure you're very careful not to damage the bare roots. We don't want to damage our little babies here. So I'm pulling them apart and oh my God, look at it. It's so cute. So I can't wait. We're going to be planting and eating strawberries in no time. Look how huge these roots are. So um, from the directions I've heard from former gardeners, they told me to soak the bare roots in water for half an hour, an hour. And just to shake off all the dirt and everything off it. And because the bare roots are really dry. So we want to moisten the bare roots. Okay, next, you know, you have to get a container. Put some holes in it for a good drainage. And we're going to throw a little fertilizer in it as well. Just to give our strawberries a nice little boost. Strawberry love nice loose soil. So make sure the soil is loose. Do not fill it up all the way. Press down and now we can get started on putting our strawberry bare roots right on top of the soil. So we spread in out the roots and now I'm just gonna put some nice loose potting soil on top of the roots. Careful not to cover the crown. That is one important step that you must follow. Do not cover the crown. All right, so let me get some more soil behind the bare root. Carefully not to cover the crown. All right, it's nice and firm. Add a little bit more, and I'm going to go ahead and do two more in this container. As you can see, I did two different methods. The first method, I put the bare roots right on top of the soil. I didn't soak it and put the soil right on the bare roots and made sure I didn't cover the crown. The second method, I soaked the bare roots for half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and then I applied the bare roots into the loose soil. And, cover, and was careful not to cover the crown. So there's two different methods. And with the update that I'm going to give you guys, hopefully I'll be able to give you in a great update on which method was better. Soaking the bare roots before or just placing them directly on some loose soil. Stay tuned for the update. Stay tuned. Update is up next. Good morning. All right, so let's go out in my greenhouse and see how our strawberries are doing. Let's go. Alrighty, I'm in the greenhouse. Let's see what's going on here. All right, seeing some growth, growth, progress. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Let's see what the tear is doing here at the bottom. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. See. Oh, nothing over there. Hmm. I 
It's oregano and thyme is doing okay out here. Rosemary. Oh, my bags will look terrible. But some more oregano and sage doing okay. Man, was it freezing out there? Not to mention raining like crazy. While I have you guys, let's walk in my grow room and see what's growing. tomatoes, bunch of onions, walla walla, hot cherry over there, more peppers, more things going here. If you see the um, the brown is cinnamon. I do that to um, cut down on the fungus nets. Um, over here there's more lettuce, more strawberries I just planted. Uh, we got some green beans over here popping. And I have more, 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 more vegetables. And I remember the, um, on my previous video, I did um, Dollar Tree seeds versus the online big box seeds. And since you're here, I give you a sneak peek. Uh, let's see, you have the Dollar Tree um, green beans over there, the Cherokee wax is doing wonderful. And the organic green beans is doing great as well. I do see a volunteer plant over there. I don't know what that is. It could be a pepper or tomato. We shall see. And I have parsley and lots and lots and lots of more vegetables growing. But I'll do another video on that later. Well, thank you guys for spending some time with me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Stay safe and happy gardening.